Hi friends, how are you today? I have another fun story for you. This is actually a spoof, which is like a silly story of one of our favorite books. This is Goldilocks and the Three Dinosaurs by Mo Willems. All right, so let's go ahead and read this. Goldilocks and the Three Dinosaurs. All right, and the words are little this time. I'm gonna do the best I can, okay? Once upon a time, there were three dinosaurs, Papa Dinosaur, Mama Dinosaur, and some other dinosaur who happened to be visiting us from Norway. This says, Home Sweet Dinosaur Home. One day, for no particular reason, the three dinosaurs made up their beds, positioned their chairs just so, and cooked three bowls of delicious chocolate pudding at varying temperatures. Varying temperatures, that means some were hot, some were cold, some were just right. Oh boy, said Papa Dinosaur in his loud, booming voice. Oh, so it was more like, oh boy, it's finally time to leave and go to the, uh, someplace else. Yes, continued Mama Dinosaur. I sure hope no innocent little succulent child happens by our unlocked home while we are, uh, someplace else. <laughs> Then the other dinosaur made a loud noise that sounded like a big evil laugh, but was probably just a polite Norwegian expression. <laughs> the three dinosaurs went someplace else and were definitely not hiding in the woods, waiting for any unsuspecting kid to come by. My goodness, I have to sneeze. <laughs> I'm so sorry, friends. I had to sneeze and it won't come out. Oh, no. <laughs> sure enough, five minutes later, a poorly supervised little girl named Goldilocks came traipsing along. There she is, a little Goldilocks. You know her, don't you? Just then, the forest boomed with what could have been a dinosaur yelling, Gotcha! But I'm pretty sure it was just the wind. The loud noise was immediately followed by another loud noise that sounded kind of like, Be patient, Papa Dinosaur. The trap is not yet sprung. I have to start over. 